All right, we have game two here. Joshers versus Matthew N. Um, they just played a game on Ravaged, which Matthew N overwhelmed uh, Joshers with Wolves. Uh, Joshers, honestly, kind of blindly getting a third. I mean, I think he was scouting in the main. He saw the two dens, and he thought, okay, I have one den. I think I can get a tower at my third and then hold my natural against against the two dens. Um, but honestly, I think if you're going to do that, and then especially tech, like if you're going to get a third, right, you're spreading yourself thin. And then if you're also going to get a fortress on top, you're now spreading yourself thin tech-wise. So it's like double spreading yourself thin. And then meanwhile, Matthew is getting just like three total dens, right? And that third den especially, I don't even want to call it hidden at the natural. It was actually kind of forward. Um, I think for the future, maybe Josh just needs to like, if he's going to be willing to put down a third so aggressively, he needs to make sure he gets a full scout on both bases. You know, he could have, I think he could have easily had an extra wolf scouting and not just the one in the main that was blocking, that was being blocked by Matthew N. Um, so anyway, or, or, I mean, I think he could have gotten the fast third maybe if he just also threw down dens right after, right? But I think he was going for both. I, I don't think he expected that, but anyway, here, Game two, we have Matthew going for a Racks opening. Uh, Josh is getting Fast Castle, Double Tower. Okay. Honestly, I'm not sure how this will do. I mean, this castle is so freaking fast. If we look at the gold mine, I mean, he's at a higher rate. You know, I think, you know, just thinking of this now, I think Joshers on this one could have delayed this tower. Because as a raider, you're going to take so much damage coming in here because it's such a tight choke that he could have maybe held it on like 98% and then eventually canceled it if, if raiders didn't go in. Like, may, I, I can see you totally needing it maybe eventually because maybe he gets enough raiders and just blinks past. But, you know, if you keep it on 98%, maybe you can get the money back later. But either way, curious to see how this goes. He's, uh... Oh, see, like this. Yeah, now he can finish it up. Um, well, he's got it there. Matthew feeling like, okay, these raiders are basically doing nothing. Um, I'm curious if Matthew's going to be able to poke... At the worker, at least. I think he's going to have to, if it takes one more hit, he's going to have to pull it away. Okay, I like that bait from Joshers. Um, Matthew responding with, okay, you're going to get a fast castle with two towers. I'm just going to get a third. A fast third. And kind of one-up you. I mean, the good thing for Matthew here is he's, like, completely scouting Joshua's build, like, without any pressure. Uh, oh, cool. Josh just gets his own third. Okay, so maybe a tit for tat for tit. Um, yeah, and uh, Josh's is up. Okay, Matthew scouts it. He's going to get a worker. And blink on top here. Or not even blink. Hmm. You know, I don't think this double tower thing is considered, like, optimal. Because if we look at things, like, just look at this, produ look at this production thing up here, right? Like, equal workers. Okay, well... I guess Joshers has about 
175 more. I mean, now Matthew's catching up on workers, especially because he's losing workers here down just to try to get this up. I mean, he will eventually get it going, but... Hmm. He will have uh, the upgrades, which is nice. I don't know. I think I kind of prefer Matthew's thing here. As, as, as like, I get the temptation to do these double towers. Like, it feels nice and comfy, you know? Like, you can kind of... It's almost like you're just playing... You know, a nice, relaxing game with no RTS stress of like, oh, let me just get my towers up. and I don't have to worry about Wolf Micro or Raiders. I can just make workers. Like, I get that. But if we look at the worker count right now, Matthew is up um, about 20%. And he has a fourth coming up. Um, I think he's going to transition into mech as well. Should be a workshop going down here. Josh is coming out with a bird. Okay, it looks like Josh is just going to go, I mean, mostly racks, right? He's getting these, these racks upgrades. I think that this is Matthew favored. If you, um... This is a mech favored map, or at least that uh, is Happy's opinion here. I mean, if you look at it, there's just so much high ground. There's so much tight chokiness. Uh, it, it totally makes sense, right? So Matthews, not only did he kind of get this like lead on the on the macro end of things, at least for this map, he's also going what I think is considered to be the more favorable composition given the terrain. So I just on that, I mean, I'm predicting that Matthews uh, is going to have this one, but let's see. It will come down to positioning of your units, you know, Mecca, maybe Matthew extends himself out a little too far. Maybe Joshers uh, does some early aggression, like right now. I think this is enough to be annoying to Matthew. So let's see. Uh, let's see what happens here. These uh, these catapults can get picked off early. All right. I mean, this is a yeah. This is going to be. This is actually kind of funny. I don't think he's going to be able to just. Ooh, takes a shot. Takes another shot. He's gonna have to pay attention to the micro here. I mean, it's almost like Joshers was able to play the comfy early game, and now <coughs> Matthew gets to play the comfy mid game. I mean, he's sitting even more comfy because he has about a fifty. Well, not a 50. He has a 33% advantage in workers right now. Oh my gosh. These archers just took massive damage. This is, this is really not looking for good for Joshers at this point. He is getting a fourth of his own. Meanwhile, Matthews had his own fourth up. Mining about... Mm, for 30 to 40 percent more. Okay. Joshers is worried about catapult drops. Reasonably so. Usually people that make workshops will get a catapult drop. I mean, there's... Is he going to see this? Okay. Oh, wow. 
Okay, well, denies the work, the dropship, but gets, was that four archers along the way? Gonna get his own airship. Matthew really going into upgrades here. I'm really liking how Matthew's doing this, even though he lost that dropship. The worker count does seem to be leveling. Matthew hasn't been as diligently making workers on all his castles. I think he's switching a, more into the upgrades and units now. Okay. This is a pretty big uh, army for Matthew to be coming with. I know he's harassing over here, which is great, but this is just a lot to deal with. I mean, I think he's going to at least uh, be able to do serious damage to one of these bases. Oh, wow. Okay. Never thought of this, but let's got some... Uh, a lot, of, a lot of your base can get hit from catapults just from over here. Uh, meanwhile, Joshua's doing some good micro, picking off units that are out of position, kind of just over there, harassing the worker line. Okay. Matthew trying to open these chokes up a bit. Although... I don't know, I feel like that maybe kind of helps. Joshua's a little bit. Maybe it's just really clunky to move those uh, catapults around and he's noticing it gets stuck, so he's just going to open it up at least a bit more. Um, I think Joshua's archers must have died here finally. Okay, Joshua's going to drop Rax units on the catapults. Matthew getting turned away. Okay, I like wildly predicted this whole thing to go much better for Matthews. I don't think I have any business casting. <laughs> I I think Josh has got some good harass done, distracted Matthews. I'm not sure what he was doing over here. I feel like he should have moved in. You know, of course he doesn't have the vision. Maybe he was a bit more timid about, a bit more wary about what Josh has had. So sometimes that's just it's gonna, what's gonna happen. He is going to get some good damage here, or at least he's going to make Joshua's pull away. Oh, wow. A doom drop of sorts. Meanwhile, Matthew's putting no pressure on Matthew. Or, wait, Matthew's not putting any pressure on Joshers. And he can pull out whatever's left. And with the counterattack coming in over here, Joshers really being a pain in the butt, which I'm sure he'd take as a compliment. Um, he's going to keep these over here so that he can drop them again when Matthew pulls away. Ooh, okay, I missed this. Matthew uh, putting in that work down here. It looks like Joshua's did pull away at least a decent amount of his units. He's going to have to remake workers. He's still pretty far down. It looks like right now he's focused on pressuring. Josh just cleans this up. I'd like to see him bring this over to his uh, dropships. Looks like he lost a few, probably to the, he lost a couple, probably to the Ballista. Man. These, uh, these Gatlings really putting in work with their five armor penetration. These, this armor being added on just does nothing. Uh, although he does have the extra attack. 
I mean, this is what Matthew wants. He does want this game to go as late as possible. He wants all the Sim City, and he wants to get just massive upgrades because the upgrades scale so much better on racks. Their main con being a uh, lack of mobility. But once you get upgrades going and you start getting maxed out, it gets crazy. Um, okay, Matthew pushing in here. This feels this feels like a lot, especially if Matthew's able to keep these alive. Keep the Gatlings alive as buffer for the catapults. I mean, this this like is a nice spot that the catapults can just launch from. It really does feel like a nice mech map. Um, yeah, this, this game feels like it's uh, in, in Matthews. at the moment. I mean, he's got all his bases mining away pretty fine. Uh, he's, he's held everything. And he's just up on so much more workers. Oh man, Catapult down here was putting in, probably putting in work. He got seven kills. I don't know if that was all from down here or if some of it was from there. Um, raining death down from above, this guy. The BM worker. Um, more expanding. Matthew now about to move out with another force. Um, I mean, I think... I mean, we got we got the bird's eye view here. I, I feel like he should be just turtling up. He got so much damage down there, and his upgrades are scaling up. His best bet is just turtling, maxing out, and then attacking. Looks like he wants to... Do some damage along the edges though. I think he could have just sent like a small hit squad to go do that rather than sending like all his defensive forces. You know, being able to utilize his sim cities and whatnot. But um, he's moving out, so he's going to definitely clear stuff much more quickly than he would have otherwise. Um, and it looks like he's going to be able to, I mean, really take out this fourth and the third. Meanwhile, he's going to need his own rallies to clear up this rack stuff, which they'll probably be able to do. I mean, even just this feels like it, so probably the right move for him to move out as he did. Um, Josh is losing pretty much all his production buildings. They were way out front here. Meanwhile, Matthew has all of his still. Um, man, such great upgrades from Matthew. That's just mech though for ya. They just get massive upgrades. There we go, good game. 